we're at this time of the year where everybody's drunk on holiday glee and I tend to sound like the Grinch. What gets to me is the waste of greatness, dreams, potential that I'm witnessing every single year. There's so many amazing people, so much talent just wasted because of a simple oversight. And that's what I'm going to talk about today. A big, nasty New Year's resolution mistake. Hey everyone, this is Dominique Anderson. Welcome to Stretch and Bloom Soundbite, where in five minutes or less, I will give you a quick tip to create a life you love. Here's what I see every year. People making lists of resolutions, setting goals like, I'm going to lose 20 pounds. I'm going to stop smoking. I'm going to change my job. You know, a lot of I will, I won't, but not a lot of planning. And um, people don't realize that willpower is the last thing you, to rely upon when you want to make changes. I mean, typical example. You say you're going to lose 20 pounds. How are you going to achieve that? Diet? Okay. Did diets work for you in the past? No. What's going to be different this time? Well, I'm super motivated. I'm going to push through. Nothing is going to bring me down. Okay, great. Normally what happens? Two weeks later. Oh, I, I think I just have another piece of that cake. You know? Or, mm, today I don't feel it. I'm not going to go work out. And again, you're back to square one. Actually, maybe in, with another 20 pounds on top of what you wanted to lose. Shame, frustration, and less confidence than when you started. It's not working. And that was a silly example, but it's the same whether it's a small goal or your big reinvention. You cannot wing it because, you know, like most people, you're probably going to fail. And that will reinforce your lack of confidence in yourself and make it even harder to get unstuck the next time you try. So here's what I recommend and what you should do. First, get real with yourself. You need to call yourself on your sabotaging patterns. You need to know your weaknesses. You need to anticipate them so you don't fall victim to them. And you need to also keep your distance from people who will enable your sabotaging ways. Second, you need to be clear on what you want and formulate your objective in a way that serves you. Because sometimes it's not necessarily about losing 20 pounds. Sometimes it could be actually about feeling energetic, fit, and vibrant. And the result might be losing 20 pounds, but how you go about it, the motivation will be completely different. You also need to follow a plan. I know I sound a broken like a broken record, but you need a plan, a strategy, something to keep you going when going gets tough. You need to be to get back on track. You need to be ready for everything. You also need a support system. Do you need tools? Do you need uh, a team? Do you need accountability? Do you need encouragement, motivation? That is also something you need to assess. The point is. Don't wing it. Don't self yourself to be the butt of New Year's resolution jokes. You need to set yourself to be the oddballs, the one who made it. If you don't know where to start, you can always check out Blossom because I have the whole thing lined up for you and it's super easy to follow. It's super strategic and it's going to get you there in no time. In any case, what I want to convey to you is don't waste another year. Make the next 12 months count. Take yourself seriously and take your dreams seriously. Thank you for listening. If you've enjoyed this tip, make sure to join my inner circle. That's where you'll get access to all my in-depth tips. To join, go to stretchandbloom.com forward slash inner circle. Have a great day. Until next time. Bye.